Girls, we're joined by uh, one of the great Shimboners, Shimboner 735, heart and soul of our team throughout the 80s, um, Donald McDonald. Thanks for coming down, Donald. No worries, Darren. Nice to be here. The girls are playing their round two game this weekend at Arden Street. Yeah, what was it like sort of running out you know, on this ground and representing North back in those days? Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, like, you know, when you play even junior footy, you know, your home ground's your home ground. You, you feel really feel really comfortable you know we have our supporters and more often than not you know I mean the ground probably held 15 to 20 thousand and more often than not it was full and you you just knew that opposition sides didn't like coming there and you knew that um, you know they were going to be in, a, in for a hard game and and because you had the support of your own supporters they just created that atmosphere that um, you know you just had to have a crack you know end of story and um, you were naturally up and about when it's your home ground, you know, you've got to use it to your advantage because even if sides come out and say they want to get on the front foot with you, the reality is they've got to build themselves up for that. I mean, you should naturally feel, you know, um, really comfortable and really passionate about playing in front of your own people. I wouldn't say it was violent, right, but it was um, edgy, the yeah. North Melbourne crowds, you know, like... Pretty hostile, um, hostile. Pretty hostile. I mean, you have a look at the environment, you know, like we've got um, a lot of housing commission places around here. Um, a lot of us were recruited, you know, I played for a footy club just down the road, so a lot of us were North boys, and we had a lot of mates in the crowd night as well, so it was a um, real... had a real edge to it, the ground, like real working class um, footy club, and the supporters really, um, you know, typified that. You know, what, do they, what do you think they'd expect to see from uh, a North Melbourne girls team that runs out here on the weekend? Obviously I've been fortunate enough to watch the girls, you know, from being a North employee over the last, you know, three to four years. And um, I, the good thing about them, it's already in their DNA, you know, like you can just see. I mean, I went down here on the weekend to, you know, watch you in your first game as coach. And I know all your mates were, um, you know, we're pretty keen to see these go well. But I, I was just super impressed with the way that, um, you know, they attack the footy, you know, you can just see their team spirit. And I think that was one of the big thing about North. I mean, like, we would play here, there'd be 15,000 people. We'd go back to the social club. You know, it was a really tight-knit community. Like, it wasn't like Collingwood and Richmond, you know, 60, 70,000 people there supporting them and going to their games. Like, we had a really tight-knit club and um, everyone treated everyone the same. And I just reckon that you look at the girls and, you know, the way that they all, they look like they, there's no hierarchical system, you know, like Emma, you know, treats the, a youngster the same. And, and I just think that that's a huge thing. And there's, there's, there wouldn't be any expectation from a North supporter to think that they're going to come out and win. I think the expectation is they're going to come out and play with spirit. Was that spoken, spoken about much back in your day? Or? The shinbone of spirit wasn't really talking about it. I mean, let's face it, it's a, it's a behaviour, you know, it's a set of behaviours. And the, the first behaviour was that, you know, when you walked into North Melbourne that, um, you know, you, obviously you've got to earn people's respect by your actions, but going the other way, everyone respected you because you're a North person, so you really had to lose their respect. I think that was all, all the expectation was, and I think that just really showed out in the way we played. I mean, a lot of times when we played, we didn't have the best side, but I reckon we had the most competitive side.